Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's take a look at the critical damping case. Now in the case of critical damping, you no longer have any oscillations. The differential equation will be exactly the same as we had for the under damping case with the one big difference that the damping constant B, which is uh, damping, <laughs> sorry, damping constant B, which now must equal 2 times the square root of m times k. Remember, for the underdamping case, b had to be less than that. But if it's exactly equal to that, you now have critical damping, which means you no longer have any oscillations, which now means that you don't no longer have the cosine and the sine portion in the solution, just a decay function. And notice that we still have a value for b here, which is x sub naught, and the value for c, which depends on both the initial velocity and the initial position. Notice that the damping uh, angular frequency is still equal to b over 2m. And so now we have a very different situation, no longer any oscillation, simply a decay of the original motion that then slowly comes down to the equilibrium point. And that is what we mean by critical damping.